All right, so the car that I purchased just finished getting detailed uh, for <laughs> my mom's birthday on Sunday. So right now um, it is 8.40 in the morning. We are heading to Norco Dodge to finally get this car sold. There was a small problem yesterday. That's why it didn't sell yesterday, but uh, service wasn't in by the time we went. We went at five and service was already done, so they couldn't fully inspect the car. The car smells like crazy gas right now, E85 to be exact. And uh, he said he couldn't buy a car that smells like gas like that was because uh, it could be a hazard or hazardous to him or anyone that buys it, right? So he wanted to make sure nothing was wrong with this. So I drove it today. Oh, I drove it yesterday for two hours with my brother-in-law. You know, we finished the gas, got rid of all the 91, put regular gas, and it still smells like it smells, it smells horrible. So we bought the this cleaner AC cleaner because it's usually it just comes out from the AC when you turn it on. It smells like hardcore gas, and it worked. So we're hoping our fingers are crossed and everything that everything's fine today. Maybe it's finally done. But if not, uh, he said that he'll still take the car as long as it's not hazardous. They're gonna lift it and make sure everything's okay. Car's completely stock. We don't have half ass our stuff. So I know the car's gonna be okay. It's gonna sell. Um, if they find anything, I want them to show me because I know for a fact they're gonna use this maybe as a way to lowball me. Uh, but I'm not gonna let that happen because I want them to honor what they told me. So uh, I probably won't vlog inside the dealer because people there are just very picky, especially at Dodge dealers so um, i'll pick up the vlog probably when we're done let everything how it goes maybe <laughs> the super will come back and if it does i'm screwed oh uh, yeah it definitely still smells because freddie opened it completely <sighs> Damn it. well we'll see right now all right guys so we are back home um things did not go as planned sadly so i came to get my camera to take photos of the new car it's inside the garage right now um, things happened. Norco couldn't buy my car today because the fuel line broke. So that's what I'm doing now. I had to fix that and then they'll buy it off of me. If not, they said that they're willing to take it and deduct whatever the price of the fuel line is and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go take photos of the new car. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I gotta get out of here. It's freaking hot. All right, guys. So I just got some gas for the new car. The amount of necks this car breaks uh, is crazy because this car was not driven a lot. It's, uh, it's a 2020 and it's only got 14,900 miles. And uh, I just finished getting tear eyed when I was filling up the gas because uh, you don't, not many people get to experience what it's like working hard and building a car and putting lots of money and effort into something and achieving a childhood goal, you know? And uh, that was something that I wanted to do. And it was the Paul Walker rap on the Supra. And as a kid, you know, everyone dreams of having a MK4. Everyone dreams of having a, a Supra, you know? And I achieved that. And uh, it's just crazy, you know? It's all through God, all through faith and everything, man. And uh, the car that I bought never got driven. You know, I asked Freddie uh, if he got tear and He said, yeah, he did. He sold his car. But one thing about mine is mine's gone forever. This is always gonna be in the family because I just purchased his Supra. Uh, all my mods are on it, my wheels, and everything. So you guys can see it's not a joke. There's my Instagram, Super Bacon. Uh, we did sell a lot of the things. I got rid of the lip, I got rid of the 300 wing because I am going a different look on this whole entire car. I am gonna run this wrap because it is fresh still for six months to a year again. Ceramic coating's holding amazing on my MK5, my old one, it was already dying out. Um, but that being said, I am going to get this repainted because on the 300 wing you have to drill. So I'm going to get this repainted, uh, wrapped gloss black or satin black. And then I'm going to be getting my dream wing that I want for this car now. Uh, but yeah, it's still a beast. It's fast. It's basically all my old ones on this one. We swapped parts. Uh, the MK4, my, oh my god, my MK5. Um, as I was saying earlier, did not sell at Dodge because of a fuel. Uh, it was leaking from the fuel line, and uh, it was it was bad. Like it was bad. Uh, I didn't believe them. They pulled me and Freddie to the back, and we turned it on, and uh, gallons of gas just came out. And it was stressful because it's an expensive mod, right? It's an expensive thing. Thankfully, Toyota Corona said they could probably cover it if it's under factory, which it is. Um, and if not, I just negotiated right now with Dodge. If it can't be fixed. 
just give me a better offer, something lower, and you guys take care of it. And they agreed to it. So Monday I find out what's going on. Either way, that car is long gone, it's history. My thing's done with that. But this car, lower miles, I'm gonna try to go big turbo this time. I'm gonna go big turbo, uh, built trans, and I'm gonna call it a day at 650 wheel, maybe 700. There's no point in going faster. It's Cali, man. I'm not from Texas or anything. Everyone out here that's making 200 horsepower can't even enjoy their car, so it's not that serious out here. Maybe one day, one day I'll hit up there, but not right now. But again, man. And one bonus about this car that I'm freaking excited that I didn't have on mine was a custom steering wheel. This makes everything so much different. And it had a roll cage, but I'm, I'm too tall for a roll cage, so I'm glad he sold that on his own, sold that part. I did not want a roll cage on this car. I think it's goofy, tacky, especially if you're not tracking. A lot of people that put roll cages on their cars are already selling them, and uh, they agree with me. You know, you know, it looks tacky on a little Supra, especially if you're not tracking it, especially if you got freaking welds. What are you going to do? Hit a corner at 150 miles per hour on welds? Like, no. But yeah, that's the end of that. This is a short vlog, introducing the new car. Uh, I was going to do some cool edits for you guys, but nah, man, uh, I want to get a videographer for that. Do something crazy, but this is going to be a crazy build compared to my old one. This one's going to go more out. I'm going to do crazier more stuff. I want to get actual different welds. These are four-star. I want to get welds because there's a weld sticker on the back. It says weld racing. And uh, it, was, it was a tough choice, man, but Dodge offered a freaking good deal. And I got a lower mileage Supra compared to my 35K mile Supra, you know, or 32 or 31. I don't know how many miles I had, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And the main reason was because one, my, my Supra had higher miles. That's the reason why I sold it for this one. Lower miles, same year and everything, only two months difference. Same payment, same everything. Yeah, just that's why I did it. I know people are gonna be like, what, what, but why? Everyone thought I got a GT500, a GTR or a BMW. No, I'm not there yet. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. This is more funner to build in my opinion. It's cheaper and at 515 wheel, they're already gapping Hellcats and shit. So I'm happy. No need for more power. Eventually, my dream, my next car is going to have to be a GTR G500. So when I say I'm selling this, it's because I'm getting that. But I don't plan on selling this. I want to keep it in the family forever. I know I said that about my old cars, but this is for sure staying. I mean, like, come on. It's a beautiful car, and the wrap is insane. And it's not like other wrap, shots, wrap shops where they freaking do some tacky on it. This is actually uh, 3D printed onto the wrap. You know, so it's an expensive wrap like my uh, other wrap that I had on my other Supra. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos on this, uh, same exhaust still, Tomei, single exit, everything, you know? So, gonna do some more videos and let me know your guys' honest opinion. Hope you guys liked the video.